Okay, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to map the uh, gossans uh, using the ACL data. So the band combinations that are used for mapping gossans are band six to one or band six three one. So six is for red and then three is for green and uh, one is for blue. So the red color indicates the gosan and the um, green color indicates the vegetation and the one is indicating that the um, blue color that the chlorides and the other thing. So in fact, we will see based on the interpretations that we uh, based on the interpretations on the ground we have or based on the interpretation, the geological map what we have. So for this case, we already downloaded the Bisha Asia data previously. For, for first, how to extract this. So the downloaded Bisha data is in a tar file and the, in the three logs here. And then uh, I just saved in the high quota drill or boreholes. So this is the Bisha Asia data. So how to extract the file. So this is a downloaded zip file. So for downloading, we have the uh, free software that you can find from the Google search. That's the uh, 7-zip. So I'm going to use using the 7-zip extractor. So I will say there's extract files here. Uh, so I will extract them first. And then it gives me another zip file. So I have to extract them again. So and then extract, extract here. So this is, uh, these are the Aster data. It gives me in the form of the files. These are SWIR, the short wave infrared. And then these ones are the band 10, band 11, and band 12. These are near infrared. Uh, and these ones are the visible uh, infrared. So in this case, what we can do is we have to have the combinations of the short wave infrared, like band six, and the combinations of the uh, visible infrared. These ones are the um, PNIR three and one. So uh, I'm gonna drag them. So first I'm gonna use band six, band three, and band one. So I'll drag them to the this QJS, I already opened a new uh, project or workspace for uh, this one, this project and new. So, yeah, so let's go and drag them band six. Okay, so this band six, band three and band one. Uh, we'll maximize this. So after this one, I have to go to the raster. And then when I go to raster, I have to and then build virtual raster. So if I'm going to build the virtual raster, I have to add the selected elements. So I have to select them, band six, band three, and band one. So I have to order them. So band six is in the first, that's red. And then band three is, uh, will be green. So let's do like this one. So band three, six, three, one. So I have to select them all. So I select it and then I say, okay. And after that, uh, then place each files into a separate band. And then in this ones, you have, we have to select this nearest neighborhood. And then this ones also, we can select the UTM seven nodes. And uh, the files that we are gonna save them instead of temporary, we have to make a save. So I will save these ones in the Bisha Aster data. So yeah, Bisha Aster data, and then save this virtual raster. So uh, Bisha and six three one combinations. I will rename them. You can use. Them. And after that, I have to say run. So it's build the image and close so let's zoom the layer zoom to layer so already it gives me so almost we are done so we don't need these ones i can delete them yeah. uh, it has some black uh, so i have to remove that black i have to go to properties and then i have to add a apply and okay. 
So now this one, so it's a little bit faded. So, right, so this is increase the light and this is the decrease the light. So I will increase the light to a certain extent. So I will increase them. So you see that the green part that we see is this is the Barca River and these are some of the vegetations. So what we are looking is for an iron uh, oxide. So yeah, it's okay. So you see uh, this is the iron uh, oxide. So these are the iron oxide alterations. Uh, for some of you, those who know uh, this Bisha, and um, these are the Gavros, and these are the Gosans around the uh, Bisha. So, of course, it's a little bit uh, the intensity of the alteration, it varies. Some of them are very um, strongly uh, altered or Gosani force, but some areas they show some pyrite shows, and so they just search, show like the Gosani force alterations. So it's, it's not all the Gosan, but the Gosan for the Bisha is located somewhere around here. Uh, this one is the main Bisha Gosan. So some others also resemble to the Bisha. So we have to carefully see. And this interpretation was done based on the Google Earth image. So then the Gosan somewhere that we see here, it continues like this way and this way. And this one also shows some dark colors. Uh, the, uh, this one shows some the blue colors. These are the sediments. And these ones are the green ones, show some vegetations. And these ones are the gavros. So yeah we have lots of um, alteration zones uh, that resembles to gosan so we need the careful uh, we, we need to um, have a careful attention but yeah the gosan the way that we can do is this one so this virtual raster um, finally we have to export and then once we export we have to say save us and then we, it, we have to save us in the GOT file and then you can save what you want because the virtual file, you cannot process it in another files uh, in another, uh, if you have the, only the virtual, it has no data. So uh, it's possible, it's better to save it in a GOT file. So to save this one, for example, uh, the file name, I have to give it maybe this Bisha. And then I have to go uh, where to save, for example. So this is in native file and then now so we can um, first so we can so you can see the cosines there are lots of alterations shading Uh, once if we find the Sibisha because it's a known uh, deposit, so we can go for this uh, type of color and uh, then finally we can make our interpretation. So if I just make a zoom or if I just increase the light or the intensity comes like this one. So Bisha goes and looks like this one. So we have to search for this type of features. So yeah, this is narrowing now. So we have some Bisha Gosan type here, continues like this, continues like this. And some of the exalites also give the same reflectance. So we have to check uh, or we have to uh, confirm where we are going to look. So this is the system how to do for the Gosan uh, marking. I hope you like and uh, how to map the iron oxides uh, and then we can make some other uh, mapping as well so
yeah that's that's it for today thank you